Let's just get this over with. <laughs> so let's just start out with some like the miscellaneous stuff that I have around my room. Um, these are just some of my U2s that I have. This one, 30,000 people have seen. That's kind of cool. Here's Baby Yoda. On the other side, this is where I keep my Barracuda Bay set. I don't really do much with it because it's kind of too big to like move. So it's just been sitting here for like a year. But yeah. It's pretty nice. I got a minifigure on top. And this is also where I keep my collectible minifigures and just my rare ones in general. So you can see Thrawn, and Baru, Luke, Armprint Vader. I like bought these a lot and then I don't buy them anymore. There's Russell and Carl, that's pretty cool. And some Simpsons, it's always fun. Here's some of my Harry Potter books that I have. Greatest book series of all time, and Lord of the Rings. This is where I keep some more of my miscellaneous Lego stuff, kind of just thrown down there. There's my build for my minifigure video. A lot of this is destroyed because I salvaged parts from it for some videos, but yeah, not much there. Here's some fake minifigures from that video that just in this cup. And now for the best part of my room, my shelves. This is going to be the most in-depth I've ever gone into both of these, so I guess let's just go ahead. So we'll just start with the stuff you can see. I have some stuff from My Neighbor Totoro. I have my My Neighbor Totoro stuffed guy. That's pretty cool. I don't even know what these are, but they look fun. They're like little figures. That's nice. Here's Gandalf. Uh... Where'd Galador Nick go? Oh my god. And then on this shelf, we get into my Funko Pop collection, which is probably my biggest collection that I don't really talk about much. I won't go through all of them, but I have my Scented Nerds one, which smells like a grape. That one's pretty cool. My Chrome Boba Fett, Chrome Mando, the Batman, Itchy and Scratchy, the Joker. Just some overall really fun ones. There's my Sam Raimi one. We have some from Doug Days, because everything from Up is stupid expensive. I do have some more Funko Pops, which we'll get to in a second, because that's on the other shelf, but we have, we have my Gandalf tin here from Magic the Gathering. Here is the first thing that I actually got sent from during, doing YouTube. This is my purple car, don't remember what it's called, sorry, uh, Niffly, sorry. But this is, yeah, this is from a company called Niffly's, and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at a set, and obviously I said yes, because that was a super cool opportunity, and I now proudly display it on my shelf. Thank you so much for that company. They're pretty dope. I love them. Here's my May the 4th promo, which I really need to like do something better with, but I just haven't really done anything with it. Here's my Star Wars card binder and my other May the 4th promo. Here is the only fungal love I have from actual Up. I got this from Pop in a Box for $20, and it's incredible. I love it. And it's probably my favorite Funko Pop I have. And yeah, I just love it. You can see the exclusive sticker right there. So this is the only one I have from the movie Up. And behind that, we actually have the custom gunship that I built out of the 501st parts. Here's some more of my Funko Pops. This is more of my Pixar collection. So you have some Soul, Toy Story 4, more Soul Monsters, Inc. What it, I don't know how that guy got there. Don't know how well you can hear me, but up here I have another Funko Pop. Uh, Baby Yoda up there, that's pretty nice, with a nice stand, and obviously the figure, which I have like 25 of. My other Baby Yoda, I have a lot of Baby Yoda builds for some reason. If you've seen that video, my first Pokemon item, you'll see a lot more of that coming up. My Mini Slave one, and finally a T-Rex, and some balloons. And then the last thing from this shelf is this box that I got for free from Barnes & Noble, which is pretty nice. I don't know if I even have any of the figures from this series, but... I have the box, so that's something. And now moving over into the next shelf, down here we have a book and this Funko Pop that I haven't put anywhere yet. I don't know why, but it's fun. I got it on sale. Some books, some vinyls, a, a Pokeball, another vinyl. And this is kind of where all my like videos in progress happen. You can see the up house is there from when I tried to make that fly and then realized I didn't have enough balloons after two hours of filling up balloons. You can see from my Spider-Man 2 video that still here. That video has like 2,000 views now, so that's kind of fun. But I just haven't cleaned it up. I should probably do that at some point. Now up here, this is a lot more of the stuff you see, but I do have the newly added to the collection Ghost and Phantom 2. This is such a beautiful set. I've wanted this one for so long, and I have it now, and it's just so incredible. If you don't have anything about it, it, it's a really incredible set. Here's a YouTube logo that I made like five years ago. I think it looks pretty nice. Here's a Phantom 1 that I bought. Um, It is very nice. I actually really prefer the Phantom 1 to the Phantom 2, so I really wish that they'd make a Phantom 1 that could connect to the ghost. But in the meantime, I have this one from 2014, I think. And it's just a beautiful build. I really love this set. And this is probably the most unique item I own. I've never really talked about this before. As you can see, this is a YouTube DLR camera bag. I think that's what it is. And it looks very vintage because this is. This is from 2010. 
2010 to like 2011, I think. And this is actually what they gave out to YouTubers before play buttons became a thing. So before you would get a silver play button for getting 100,000 subscribers, you would get this bag. So this is actually a super cool bag. You can see all the play buttons on the zippers. And this is technically a YouTube play button. Like you could only get it with 100,000 subscribers. You couldn't just buy it. So this is a really cool item. You can see the old YouTube logo. And it's kind of fun that I got to explain it because I've had this for two years now. And I never got to make a video on it, but yeah, now I have. And it's really cool, one of my favorite parts of my collection. I guess while we're here, this is my wall of minifigure checklists. Uh, every time I bought a minifigure, I put up the checklist. So I actually have a lot now, plus the Galador poster, which obviously is a masterpiece. That's not series 16, series 19. And you can see a bunch. We have like Harry Potter, Looney Tunes, The Simpsons, a video up there, Marvel. So we have a lot of those. And it's always just been a thing that I've really enjoyed doing is collecting these and putting them on the wall. And I think it's pretty nice. Behind that YouTube bag was, you know, big surprise, more Funko Pops. And then this is another one of my favorites from my collection. It's actually the Flocked Stitch. That's a really beautiful one. I got this for a pretty good price. I think it was like $15 or something. So very excited to Leland Stitch. Obviously, you know, greatest Disney movie ever made. This is actually a really nice one. I like this one. I made this. I used to be really into making like awards and stuff because I never got any awards. But I actually made this to commemorate me hitting 10,000 total views. Don't look at my handwriting. 10,000 total views on this channel. And now I think I have almost 400,000 or something like that. Maybe 350,000. So that's a really cool thing. That And here are some of my Funko sodas. These are just another version of Funko Pops. They come in a can and they're just little figures. And if you're lucky, you can get a Chase, which is one in six and they're different. So we have Fantasia Mickey there. This one's a Japanese Spider-Man. That one's really random and I really like it. Miles Morales, Arwen, and Groot. So that's a pretty nice little collection. Here's the big R2-D2. Uh, I have this. It's actually really good looking. Like I like it a lot. And I did have it at an angle, but during my web shooter video, I almost knocked it over, so I moved it so it was easier to not knock over. Yeah, I skipped this on my other shelf, but I have my web shooter here, um, just because I think it's cool, because this is now my most viewed video with 57,000 views or something like that. So I'm gonna put it here to always remember it by. Only for this section is the mic for the podcast that I wanna make, but I can't figure out how to get the mics to work, so. Guess look out for that whenever I figure out how to get this mic to work. And then the next shelf up we have my Lego Star Wars trading cards box. This thing is really beat up, but I still think it looks cool. And under that we have a Holocron, which is just sick, and a Kyber Crystal. Very nice. And then this is actually a Black Series that I bought for some reason. It's Baby Yoda, and it's honestly, it's kind of cool, but... Now it just sits there. We have some Pokemon cards strewn about, which I really need to clean up. And now we get into a lot of my Harry Potter Lego stuff, which is probably my favorite collection of Legos that I have. We have the Thestral Carriage right there, which is really nice, and the Basilisk. And then back here is Fluffy, and it's kind of tough to see, but those are all of the wizard cards that I collected. I had like 10 of them or something. I wasn't really trying to finish the collection, but I just got some of those from buying the sets. And then we have my Hogwarts that I built. And though a lot of people don't love the look of this, I actually think it looks pretty nice. I'm not going to flip it over because it's really hard, but you can see all the sets I have there that come together. And I think they honestly look really good. I haven't gotten any of the new Harry Potter sets. Let me know if I should. Let me know if they're any good. Now up here finally is some really fun stuff. We have a Carl Soda. So you can see what I'm talking about. If you buy it, you'll probably get this one, but there's a one in six chance that you'll get young Carl from the same soda. And this is really nice because the only other way to get a young Carl is like a $300 figure. So now I have old Carl and young Carl. And I actually have a Russell one back there, but it's just in the can because I don't really have any space for it right now. I have my custom 501st Venator, which I made a video about like two years ago. So that's pretty cool. I really like this guy. I have a Psyduck card, obviously the greatest Pokemon ever. So proudly displayed up there. Some more Detective Pikachu stuff. <laughs> I got a Goodwill, some Biddy Pops, which are fun, uh, a fake Commander Cody and a fake Baby Yoda from that video. We have a really cool display box that my brother-in-law got me, so that was really nice of him. And then we have the Up set, which I just absolutely love. It's funny because it's not in frame, like for my normal videos, but it is always here and I really love that set. And then here's a hologram Commander Cody. I don't remember where I got this from, but it's a really cool figure and I really like it. And then here's a sloth. I have the Milano up there, fully built, and it is beautiful. I need to find a better spot for that. That's just where it's been right now because I don't have a good spot for it. As high as I can because I'm short apparently. I have one of my favorite Funko Pops ever, which is the Disney World exclusive Cinderella Castle. I got it for like 20 bucks at Disney Springs when we went on vacation once. I absolutely love it. 
And then we have the, what is it, 10-inch Baby Yoda that I got for sale at TJ Maxx. And I mean, that is just absolutely insane. And then for the last of my displays is my glass shelf I got from Ikea. Uh, brand new, as you can tell. Super, I mean, just spotless. So I have the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back Best Bend Duel. Very cool set. I got that off eBay. We have an ATSD poly bag back there. This guy. Kachow, the Lion King, the 20th anniversary minifigures back there, and then Mickey, and the A Christmas Carol uh, promo from a while back. I still think this is like the gold standard for promos. And then my glass display shelf, which is usually where I put my nicest stuff, or just the stuff that fits, because not a ton of stuff fits in here. But the Millennium Falcon that I got, I absolutely love this Falcon. This is actually what I bought to get the May the 4th promo when it came out. We have the Razor Crest, which I still think is just one of like the best ships that LEGO Star Wars has made. I mean, it's just so accurate and so good. We have the Treble and Tatooine back there. And then my favorite LEGO set I own, the NES. Such a good model. I mean, the play features are just incredible. If you've seen any video I've made about play features, you've seen this. I have the Batman Tumblr, and then Steamboat Willie, and then the bottom, this is like my army, I guess. I have some 501st builds, the ATT, which is just another 10 out of 10 set. Another build, we have the fighter tank, I think that's what it's called. We have a swamp speeder back there, which I built, Obi-Wan fighter, and then the MTT that I built out of the AAT, which is really nice. This is the train that Niffly sent me that I absolutely loved, and then accidentally dropped and haven't rebuilt it yet, so... If they want to send me another set to take the spot where that one was, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a joke. I love you guys. <sighs> so there you go. To like the three of you who wanted this. I hope you enjoyed. This video is going to get like two views. And I'm never doing this again. So you better uh, enjoy it while you can. I don't really know what to do. Like it, I, This is just such an anti-climatic video. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to say. It's just going to end.